Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to My Gadget Kitchen. Wow, I have not said that in six months. I can't believe that it's been that long since I've recorded a video. I had no idea that my last video was going to be my last video. You know, sometimes but life just happens, things change, you think you're going straight and then all of a sudden you're cutting right and you're just on a totally different path. So that's what happened with me and that path just, it just took me out of the kitchen for a little while. But, but I just really had a lot going on. I had things um, happening, you know, in my life personal that, you know, kept me out of the kitchen. So if I'm not in the kitchen cooking, then I don't have anything for you to film. And then I just wasn't really motivated. Um, I was sick for a little while. I had, um, then after that, I did have surgery that had me down for a couple months and, um, you know, kids getting back to school. My youngest started kindergarten. My middle child started middle school and my oldest is now a senior in high school. So just super cr crazy, super busy. And, you know, oh, and, um, I celebrated a birthday, I turned 40, yay, happy birthday to me. I went to Costa Rica, I actually went on a vacation all by myself just to, you know, get some peace, some relaxation, just kind of like recharge and reset. So I did that and um, actually my channel turned two um, last month, which is exciting. It's kind of sad because I wasn't really active with my channel so I didn't get a chance to like really like you know do anything to like celebrate it but you know my channel turned two so that's awesome and you know while I was away um, my channel kept growing so that makes me feel good that you know people still wanted to come and watch my old videos even if I wasn't uploading new ones when you and guys watch my videos and you comment and you're like, hey, great video, I tried the recipe, my family loved it, you know, that puts a smile on my face. And those comments actually, you know, help me to get more motivated to, you know, get back in the kitchen. So now I'm here back I and I can't wait to share some new recipes with you guys. So I just wanted to do this little intro. I know it's kind of long. My videos are actually super fast i pride myself on that i try to keep them around three minutes but my little talking is <laughs> actually taking longer than the video recipe but i just wanted to say thank you guys for those that stuck around welcome to the new people who may have never seen me before and if you want to see what i cooked for my family yesterday then keep on watching Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to My Gadget Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fast and easy pressure cooker white chicken chili using the Ninja Foodie. Here are the seasonings that I'll be using. Salt, pepper, granulated onion and garlic, chili powder, cayenne pepper, and cumin. First you want to start off by seasoning three chicken breasts on both sides. Next, I'm spraying the chicken with some olive oil. Here I have preheated my Ninja Foodie and I'm adding in about two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to brown the chicken breast on both sides. While the chicken is browning, I'm going to dice up one small onion along with one jalapeno and four cloves of garlic. Now it's time to add in two cups of chicken broth. I've been loving this uh, Noor chicken flavor bouillon that I get from Sam's Club. It's so yummy. And I'm adding in a seven ounce can of diced chilies and a 10 ounce can of Rotel, followed by the diced veggies. I'm sealing off the Ninja, setting it to cook on high pressure for 12 minutes. Next, I rinsed off three cans of white beans, and then I did a quick release of pressure once the 12 minutes was up. 
Now I'm using my hand mixer to shred the chicken. You can definitely use two forks, but a hand mixer is so much faster. Next, turn on the saute feature of the Ninja and add in eight ounces of cream cheese and stir until melted. Next, add in your beans. Finally, add in one cup of shredded cheese. I used marble cheddar. Once the beans are heated through, it's time to serve up that yummy, hearty chili. I top mine with some sour cream, Fritos, and green hot sauce. You can also add some yummy avocado and sliced jalapeno. Yum. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I've been out the game a while. I need all the help I can get. So tap that thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and tap that bell and turn on your notifications so you know the next time I upload. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye.